so we have um we have again another down day actually probably the biggest down move that we had um this year it seems like a lot of the market is correcting as we speak and it seems like uh the the s p right now is down about 80 points which is i think about two percent drop if you look at the s p chart let me see oh yeah it seems like it recovered a little bit but if you look at this uh stock if you look at this uh, stock chart, it seems like it went down about 1.43% today, um, which is a pretty big drop if you consider holistically that um, we have had a pretty bad year so far from the top of 4,800, pretty close. Now it dropped down about 200 points and still dropping down even more, but it's actually gone up a little bit. So that's something we'll keep on looking up. Um, fortunately, the VIX has gone up, um, which means that there is plenty of opportunity for more um, premium plays as well and so that means uh, we could further expand into um, selling premium but currently as we speak i am at a loss right now we lost about 140 dollars for the day uh total p l for the year today about 453 which is um is expected as i said in my previous videos that the delta has um remained um bullish not not too bullish but um well within um, the range that we're at, the price can, the price um, drop from the S and P can affect my portfolio. So, as we see right here, we have about 458 drop, um, which is expected again. And so then from there, we will continue to see uh, whether this market's going to turn around or if it's going to stay bearish. And so I, I've kind of I've already committed that we're going to stay bullish until we see otherwise. So in this cycle, I'll probably stay bullish. I did add um, more positions uh, to my bullish sides just because these deltas went up so high um starting on friday so i decided to i think they're up, up about like over 30 um it was off video but so now i said i needed to lower these deltas so in order to do that i just sold some uh call um, naked call options as well in the event that the s p does continue to tank down like it has so it has been absorbing some of my losses for today again um so if i didn't sell those call um those naked call options we would have been about 135 um, plus and so uh, fortunately let's see so if, say for example we look at DraftKings the call that I sold did um, support some of the losses that I had we would have had about 30 um, an extra $12 in losses today but that just goes on for everything else too so if we look at um, look at Macy's as well I even sold another call option another call option because I, I had a feeling that the market was going to continue on to this downside so then from there we'll just continue um, monitoring these positions again in the next cycle if the stock market still has gone down I may just continue this bullish position in the event of a turnaround but if not then we might have to adjust to more of a neutral portfolio that means lowering the deltas um, to closer to zero so that we can absorb some more of these losses and then hopefully come back in the later half of the year so so far I mean not too worried I think $500 is a pretty um, sizable loss but compared to um, like the market being down since January 1st uh, it's feel like this isn't too bad of a drop um, and a good thing also is that with volatility up um, we'll also be looking into some earnings plays as we go in just trying to stay engaged with the market not really trying to make too much of a profit but um, one thing that we can one thing that did catch my attention when, we were, when I was looking at this earlier was that there is some other um, bank stocks that I want to look at Bank of America um, reports tomorrow uh, I think pre-market so then we'll take a look at that with three days left to go it seems like the markets are fairly liquid so then I was thinking about going into this staying within one standard deviation and following tasty trade away and we'll see you know one about one penny wide um, from both sides so it seems like it'd be a pretty easy fill um, but from there we'll go ahead and see if we have um, a play here so I'll go ahead and enter into this position and see if it goes through so we'll let it sit for a while but from there we'll go ahead and um, play that we just want to see if there's um, an expected move within the range and if it does my thought process is that uh, right now it has the implied volatility about of about 58 percent with earnings tomorrow that's why the volatility is up when you compare it to 60 days and out into the future you see that the implied volatility is about 33 percent meaning that even if the earnings play does go um, unfavorably and it goes outside of the expected range the implied volatility is going to be crushed because after the earnings play this 
volatility is expected to go down to about this um, 33%. So instead of it being 58%, it'll drop down to 33%. Meaning that when you look at um, these 22 cents, even if this does go um, down to closer to 44, this should crash um, in half just from the pure fact that volatility will go down. And so that'll offset some of my losses. And for sure, um, if this does go down, this other side is going to is will for sure also just go down to zero cents so then i think it's a pretty um high pro high probability chance of uh, winning so we'll go ahead and look at that one tomorrow um once i get the position in so uh that'll help offset some of the losses that i have for the year i'll continue to do this throughout the earnings season um if we look forward um in the future we do see that there are other big earnings plays so if we look at tomorrow we do see um, United Health Corp is here. So this is how I actually look for all of my uh, potential earnings plays. So we have United Health Corp here, Bank of America. I think the Bank of America had the biggest um, cost to benefit ratio, meaning that the buying power did not go down too much. And also I received about a little under 10% return if the um, stock moves favorably. So I'll be looking at that one, considering that I do have um, quite a few losses because of my bullish, bullish positions. I'm only going to put on one earnings play per day um, if I could find one. If I was in a more profitable position, profitable position, I would put on more plays. But for now, I'm just playing it conservatively. So um, we see for Thursday as well, we have a couple of interesting um, stocks to take a look at. Intuitive Surgical is something that I want to look at. Netflix might put on some defined risk plays. Um, and then from there, it doesn't seem like there's too many other ones. Union Pacific, I would like to look at that one, but it might be too low a volatility play um, currently. So if we take a look at, um, I don't know, I forgot the symbol already, but let me see. Maybe we do um, UNP. Let's see, UNP. So right now it's at an um, IV rank of about 49, so... If we compare that to down here, this actually might be a pretty good place. So, so now, actually, I think I'll keep that um, on my list of items uh, to consider for earnings trade. So that's looking toward the Thursday. On Friday, we'll see that there's uh, not too many big um, banks. Maybe Ally Financial may be a good one, but we'll, we'll have to see. Um, and again, that's pretty much it for now. Um, I'll continue to take a look at the markets and see if I need to make any further adjustments, but it doesn't seem like there's too many adjustments that, that need to be made at this time. So we'll, we'll continue to write out these losses, uh, maybe uh, continue to extend out the duration, but in the meantime, we'll just continue uh, monitoring and stick with the strategy. So thank you guys again for watching. Hopefully you guys found this useful. And if you guys do like this, uh, please feel free to subscribe or follow or share with anybody else who may find this useful. Thanks again, guys. I'll talk to you guys soon.